Hi, my name is Beth and I want to extend a warm welcome to my family dairy farm in South Wales. As a grass-based dairy herd, the grass and the soil underneath it is incredibly important to us and it's really important that we look after it very carefully and that we manage it really carefully. That means working with an agronomist to measure uh, and monitor the soil underneath the grass. Uh, in order to do that we regularly take little samples from each field and we send those off to be analysed and um, it's really clever actually how much can be um, seen about the soil from just a really small sample. All of that data is also input into a spreadsheet that we submit to our dairy company that we provide milk for because they also are carefully monitoring the way in which we use and maintain our soils as a means to keeping an eye on the carbon footprint of the industry. It's also easy to think of the soil as just being the bottom, but in many ways what we're actually doing is we are standing on the roof of a whole different world, which is so cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig up a little patch of the earth and have a look at what we can find in our soil. Around 65% of farmland in the UK is best suited to growing grass rather than other crops, so if we didn't graze livestock on it, it would not produce food. Well-managed pastures are also a good carbon sink. Storing carbon in the soil and sequestration can be enhanced through grazing animals. In fact, pasture grazed by the right amount of livestock can support an amazing 770 species of wildflower and nearly 1,000 400 species of pollinator and other insects. And of course, healthy soil provides a home for the farmer's friend, the worm. You can tell just from the differences in these that a worm is not just a worm. In fact, there are 27 different species of worm in the UK. You can tell if a worm is a young worm because it doesn't yet have a saddle. Worms are really industrious. They can bury down a metre to a metre and a half when they're making their burrows. And they can also push 10 times their own weight. Worms eat up loads of organic matter, like leaves and plants. In fact, they eat up to a third of their own body weight every day. So that's the equivalent of around 50 pizzas for an adult human being. What they digest passes through them as a worm cast. Each worm can make around 4.5 kilograms each year. And their burrows also play a vital role in controlling water because they allow water to seep from the surface when it's very wet and hold water at other times in the year. That's why it's really important that we don't compact soils too hard for a worm to burrow. Worms really don't like being out in the sunlight and as they're such helpful fellows I feel that it's only fair that I pop them back into the earth now. Now that you know a little bit more about the worm why not take some time to find out a little bit more about the community that lives in our soils.